Let's leave the resort. On this episode, we embark on a journey to the stunning Naui Beach House in El Salvador, crafted by Ant Resort. Our adventure begins with a mesmerizing exploration of the captivating tree houses and beach bungalows, all while basking in the breathtaking views of the oceanfront infinity pool and the world-class waves. The excitement doesn't end there as we venture beyond the resort to reach the country's highest and most active volcano. Good morning everyone. We are here on our third day at Mazada in El Salvador and we are so excited because today we finally get to leave the resort. We're getting ready to go on a hike to Santa Ana Volcano. It is the highest and most active volcano in El Salvador. We're told that the hike's a little bit strenuous, so we're gonna start out in the jungle and then make our way all the way up to the top where we can stare in the eye of the volcano. So pretty excited about that. Right now, we're just getting ready to eat breakfast. We're watching the surfers. The waves here are absolutely amazing, especially in the morning. So if you are a surfer, this is absolute paradise. And then later today, when we get back from our hike, we have some massages scheduled as part of our adventure package here at Mazada. So definitely gonna be looking forward to that after this long hike. So let's do it. For all you kooks out there, you'll be stoked to know that Ant Resort boasts three surf breaks right out front. The first is a fast and hollow right on a rocky point that fires up when it's big enough. The other two are forgiving beach breaks, perfect for those still learning to surf. So whether you're a seasoned pro or a beginner, you'll find a wave that suits you. Due to its location within the Pacific Ring of Fire, an area known for high volcanic and seismic activity, El Salvador is often referred to as the land of volcanoes, boasting a total of 170 volcanoes in its territory. Among these, 23 remain active, with 6 being closely monitored for seismic activity, including Santa Ana. of the volcano we are here it took us about an hour to get all the way up to the top and right before like five minutes ago this was completely crystal clear you could see the bright blue water and now the fog has come in so we got lucky that we got to see what it looked like uh, before all the fog rolled in it definitely gets a little bit chillier up here once the fog's here but when the sun was shining it was nice and hot it's just crazy how quickly it changes but absolutely worth it. It is so beautiful to see when you see the clear water down there. It's bright blue from all the sulfur. It's really like something else. It looks like out of this world, literally. <laughs> it's probably about an hour, hour and a half hike. It wasn't too bad. I could say, you know, there's little kids up here. There's older people up here. It's a, not even a moderate hike. Uh, if you never hiked before, I'd say maybe this should be your first one. But it's not a terrible hike. It really wasn't that bad. An hour, hour and a half up at the top. And I'll tell you, I was kind of skeptical at first. I was like, oh, we're really going to spend half of our day here. We're going to be surfing. It's beautiful waves today. But I'm looking at this view and I'm like, oh, it's definitely worth it. You can see the colors are amazing. It's, it really is something else seeing this. We're looking inside the eye of the volcano. I mean, this is the remnants of what, uh, you know, Mother Nature when it, when it gets mad. stop was here in the smallest country of the region, El Salvador. Despite his troubled past with a recent civil war and a reputation for being unsafe due to gang activity, I am optimistic about the country's future and its potential it holds for its people. El Salvador, known for its volcanoes, 
offers an exciting destination for travelers who are seeking unconventional experiences on a budget. I'm thrilled to see the opportunities that lie ahead for this remarkable country. like we do they got you covered here with this awesome jungle gym and then you have this amazing view of the ocean while you work out As our time in El Salvador draws to a close, I find myself contemplating our next destination and what the future holds. Having traveled to more than 60 countries, I can't help but feel that there is so much more out there to discover and experience in this vast world. Let's leave the resort.